Hey, Nick Thomas here with InfoSec Sync. I'm at the 10th Annual National Cyber Summit in Huntsville, Alabama. And I have two guys with me from a huge company here in um, Huntsville, Alabama called Colsa. Uh, to my right is Mike Ledbetter. He is the Colsa VP for Cyber Cor Programs. And Mr. Tommy Shrove, he is the Chief Engineer with the Colsa Software Factory here in Huntsville. Welcome, guys. Thank you, good Thank to be you. here. Hey, um, you guys have been here in the past. You've been a big influence here at the Cyber Summit. Uh, give our viewers and listeners a little taste of what uh, Colsa's doing here in, in uh, Huntsville these days. Oh, sure. I, well, I'll speak specifically to the cyber, the cyber work. Uh, you know, cyber means a lot of things to you know, different people. You know, it's it's come to mean kind of an all-encompassing kind of word that if you ask 10 people, it means it 10 different diff things, yeah, right? Absolutely. So, uh, you know, what we've done at Coles is kind of uh, built a built a, a programs that uh, that kind of span the the capabilities, the spectrum, the spectrum of cyber. And uh, you know everything from packet level analysis, uh, you know monitoring uh, monitoring those IDSs, IPSs, all the way to staffing one of the nine national red teams. And in the middle, you know you have everything from uh, patching people, patching certification, accreditation, mm -hmm. blue team work, software assurance. And I think uh, you know we've built a pretty good wide spectrum of uh, capability across all the cyber. Um, you know, all the cyber genres, I guess. And you not only do uh, DOD, you have some commercial we do. Uh, work you do as well? We do as well, yep. And I think all of this is sort of spanning uh, spanning across as we see the traditional military activities that were conducted in air, land, sea, and space it's now transitioning over. to cyberspace, and you're seeing traditional military activities being conducted in cyberspace. The same like, way they were conducted before. Absolutely, <laughs> like psychological operations, meso, info, uh, influence yeah, operations, operations, public relations, civil affairs group, mm -hmm. all being conducted what we call operations within the information environment. And you really can't do that without what Tommy and his team does in the software, what we call the Colsa Software okay. Factory. Uh, you know, there people think of uh, building a software application being kind of a fire and forget kind right. of thing. Not it's anymore. Not anymore. No, you caught you got to build it. And you've got to maintain that software hygiene. But I don't want to steal his thunder. What, what's, <laughs> what's your group doing? So uh, we we try to specialize in big data, uh, data science, social media analytics, some uh, you know different areas in the information operations, NLP, machine learning, uh, artificial intelligence. So those are some of the things that we're trying to add to the Cyber Arena Mites group to help them supplement what they're doing to help their analysts perform their job better and get data to them quicker and get the 100% of the data to them in a, in a meaningful way. And through your software development life cycle, I'm assuming you're baking Cyber in from the beginning and yes. helping his group do the, yes. do the same as well. Yes, Mike's group helps us with that, uh, you know, in, in part of our life cycle like you were talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have different stages where we, we bake that into our, our uh, software engineering process. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everything from data at rest, you know, sitting in, uh, sitting in a, a, a big bucket of data, if you will, all the way to data in transit and data in use, all have different security oh, yeah. controls. So yeah, we got to bake all that in from, from cloud, every use case. Yeah, cloud computing is another yep. big one. So. You know, uh, you know, we we do a lot of cloud computing services. You know, from building, you know, just a standard API in the cloud to the whole gambit. You know, the whole system in the cloud. And uh, Mites Group helps us uh, do that. You know, cybersecurity builds in all the security protocols, and and you know, trying to protect our data while we're in the cloud as well. All Absolutely. good stuff. Yeah. So, um, what do you think of the summit this year? Yeah, it's been it's been really good. Uh, you know, good networking. Good. Uh, I th you know, what we've seen over the few years is uh, more product demonstrations. Yeah. Which is it's very difficult to demonstrate a cyber product. You know, it's usually just some flashing lights and imagine <laughs> if you will. It looks nice. Imagine if cool, you will, yeah. all this stuff happens. Well, look, there's but a bad guy. <laughs> but what it's done is it, it's really uh, it's really put the onus on the community to come up with some meaningful demonstrations that uh, that that really showcase what the application or what the tool does. And answers the problems, To right? what we call information age uh, immigrants, you know, uh, <laughs> that we all yeah. are, most except for Tommy here, he's a native. <laughs> we, uh, so, you know, for, for those that, that, you know, generals and SESs that uh, didn't grow up in the information age, right? Right. So it's, uh, I think it's been really good and we're seeing that every year get better. Okay. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, it's great to have you on. Great to be here. Alrighty, thanks so much and thanks for staying in sync with InfoSec Sync. What he said. <laughs>